Hey Mick, I've got your your Seiko here, your 0903. These are such cool watches. Almost no one knows about them. They were um, really sort of Seiko had the 2002 and the 3003 in the early 70s, and they were really high end watches. The 2002s especially were pretty amazing. The 4004 was the first sort of big popularization of quartz in the 70s, and they were sort of the end of the line for this early type quartz, but they were wickedly overbuilt, crazy overbuilt, and they were big ticket items back in the day. They were expensive. This one's in good condition too. Normally when I see these, they're just beaten to death, but this one, look at how sharp the case lines are. Look at how clean the brushing is. You can see those polished surfaces. The brushing, sick on their mania for crazy case finishes. So cool. These um, these watches, of course, they had uh, they had triple language day wheels. Triple language day wheels, isn't that nuts? I see that your date wheel does not do anything. I see that it doesn't advance or move forward or change or do anything. Um, uh, it might be. I can certainly repair it. Um. Probably you've got a driving wheel that's bad or some other issue in there. Um, I, I gave you a, a rough quote for it. The, the watches are great. I mean, for the, the it's it's sad that they're not collectible and people don't really think about them because in terms of quality, they're amazing. I mean, it'll certainly reward you for the for the work because um, that's really all we're doing. We could do because I'm going to go in there. So I would suggest what's called a since I'm going to be in there anyway is to do a a light service maybe. And then to correct that problem. If you're going to invest some money, and if I'm going to be in there, I might as well do it. That's what I do. Nice watch, though. Look, all original, complete with the bracelet. Nice dress watch. I wish they'd made a diver with this movement. They were so cool. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Let me know.